The Batman is a film I have been looking forward to since those like set photos back in like 2019, like three goddamn years ago. It is a dark, gritty, down-to-earth Batman story focused more on the detective side and villains rather than the spectacle like most superhero movies do these days. After viewing, I can say this is a great Batman film, and it won't upset most viewers. However, this is not a redefining of the comic book genre as a whole, or a perfect 10 out of 10 movie either. Boy, he thick! Boy, that's a thick-ass boy! The characters in this movie are by far the standout, especially the villains. The Riddler is not a man that goes, Riddle me this, Batman, and then proceeds to make you find 243 goddamn trophies to get the true ending. And the Penguin is not a short, fat guy that goes, <laughs> The Riddler is the better of the two villains and done perfectly for the first two acts of the film. You see him like creeping in the background on people and killing people in like the shadows. However, he stumbles a lot because he isn't like a trained killer, which is super fucking creepy. However, you get to the third act and they put him in the spotlight way too much and it kind of knocks him down from the greatness he was in the beginning. Penguin isn't used excessively in this movie, but I feel like we'll get a better feel for him in his own show that's coming down the line. And he doesn't drag the movie down, he's done well, it's just not a whole lot of him. Batman has also done very well for the first couple acts. They really have this gritty, like, Batman with a lot of cool personality traits which make you go, damn, I wonder if this will ever come into play. That'd be pretty cool. And then nothing happens of it. I think Robert Pattinson does a fine job here for the movie they were making and the universe they created. But this isn't very classic Batman either, which is completely fine. All the side characters were fine. Jim Gordon drives a Ford Taurus, just like me, so he passed the vibe check. The one character here that I was slightly iffy about was Catwoman. Zoe Kravitz does a fine job here. I just felt she didn't add much to the movie except to do things off screen so Batman could focus on the more important stuff. And the love plot between her and Batman feels extremely forced. The story, like many things in this movie, is really fucking good for the first two acts. This movie almost feels like a case study on the world and characters Matt Reeves has made here. They go deep in everyone's thoughts and opinions, sometimes even slightly too much to the point where it's really fucking disturbing. And the torn world that Gotham is in right now is really cool between the opinions of the Riddler and the disbelievers in what the Riddler's doing. But this is all for the first two acts. Most of my problems lie on the third act where this Batman movie goes really trivial and pretty generic for, the, for what they set up previously. I'll get more into this at the end when I dive into spoilers. Also, this movie is almost three hours being the second longest superhero movie ever made. I thought this movie was going to have terrible pacing like Avengers Endgame did. And it doesn't have horrible pacing. It's not nearly as bad as Avengers, but... This movie doesn't also do a great job, but it does do a good job at right when a scene is about to feel overextended. They switch over and do something else for a bit, just so you're not sitting on one thing for too long, which is a nice surprise to see. I also thought that the detective stuff here was really cool to finally see a Batman movie dive into it, but Batman doesn't seem to struggle even slightly. I get it, he's the world's greatest detective, but come on, the Riddler doesn't even seem to pose a challenge on the guy. Within seconds, Batman figures out what every clue means and exactly what to do next with pretty much everything pinpoint precise. You know what the problem is? What? You got it set to M for Mini, when it should be set to W for Wumbo. Okay, we're in spoilers now, so leave now or stick around if you've seen the Batman, I really don't care. Uh, let's start with my problems in the third act. The third act is way too revealing. They put Riddler way too into the spotlight and turn him from a really creepy fucking shadow lurker into kind of a bitch. There's one scene at the end where he literally starts crying like a kid who just found out Santa wasn't real. They also make the Gotham police seem like the biggest fucking idiots in the third act. The city starts to flood and the plan is to send everyone into a stadium low to the ground. Like, what? Why? Gotham has a city full of, like, tall buildings and shit and your first thought is a goddamn stadium? But whatever. There's also my biggest problem in this movie. 
there's a surprise cameo of Joker in the third act. And I'm sorry, I just don't get excited to see Joker anymore. Batman has so many cool villains and everyone just has to use this Joker. I mean, we have this Joker, this Joker, this Joker, that Joker, those Jokers. And it's just like, come on, I am so fucking done with seeing this bitch pop up in every Batman-related project. Let's see Poison Ivy, Mad Hatter, Bane. Killer Croc, Killer Moth, Solomon Grundy, Ventriloquist 1, Ventriloquist 2, and let's not forget, of course, Batman's greatest enemy, Professor Pig, in one of those Batman things. The Batman is a film Batman fans should definitely see. The first two acts, I feel, are as good as Batman can really be. I just wish they nailed the ending a little stronger and not just fall into the trap of punchy punchy on copy and paste, literally copy and paste sidekicks. I would give this movie an 85 out of 100 on the slosh scale, but because of the Joker cameo, it gets an 80 out of 100. Goodbye. I mean, killing sleeping children, isn't that a little...